Jane. What is that, Pete? That beats nothing. Will I tell you the story of the tailor? Uh, no. What for? To cheer you up. It's not funny. Well, it always makes you laugh. First time I thought you'd die. It was on Lake Como. One April afternoon. Can you believe it? What? That we once went out rowing on Lake Como. One April afternoon. We got engaged the day before. Engaged? <laughs> you were in such fits we capsized. <laughs> By rights, we should have been drowned. <laughs> it was because I felt happy. It was not. It was not. It was my story and nothing else. Happy. Don't you laugh at it still? Every time I tell it? Happy. It was deep. Deep. And you could see down to the bottom. So white. So clean. Let me tell it again. An Englishman. Near the pair of striped trousers in a hurry for the New Year festivities, goes to his tailor, who takes his measurements. That's the lot. Come back in four days and I'll have it ready. Good. Four days later. I'm so sorry. Come back in a week. I've made a mess of the seat. Good. That's all right. And beat seat could be very ticklish a week later. Frightfully sorry. Come back in ten days. I've made a hash of the crutch. Good. Can't be helped. A snug crutch is always a teaser ten days later. Dreadfully sorry. Come back in a fortnight and made the balls of the fly. Good. At a pinch, a smart fly is a stiff proposition. Ugh. I've never told it worse. But tell this story worse and worse. Ah, well. To make it short, the bluebells are blowing and he bollocks the buttonholes. God damn you to hell, sir! No, it's indecent. There are limits. In six days, do you hear me? Six days, God made the world. Yes, sir. No less, sir. The world. And you're not bloody well capable of making me a pair of trousers in three months. Oh, my dear sir. My dear sir. Look at the world, and look at my trousers. Ha 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 ha! Silence! You could see down to the bottom. Have you not finished? Will you never finish? Will this never finish? My kingdom for a nightman. <laughs>